Hello, today I would like to show you quite interesting device. This is like an early version of analog final cut. This device allows you to do a linear video edits on a 8mm or a super 8mm film. As you can see here, I've got a spool with a movie and I would like to join them together but you can also make uh, video edits like if you don't like part of the movie you can just cut it and remove from your film from your spool or you can change the order so you can make a linear edit like if you don't want some part to be in uh, some sort of order that you recorded them then you can remove it, you can cut it and put on the front, on the back or in a, an order that you actually like as a director. But most likely you are going to use it for fixing problems like when your projector torn a film, like if you've got a problem with a transport, the movie stuck somewhere and it pull and snap then you are going to make a fixes like this or when the transport stop and the film is going to be exposed by the bulb it's going to be burned and you can fix all of this by using this device the proper name is a fuser splicer which is a very nice medical term that remind you a uh, splicing a gene or something like that because that's what you actually do you can grab and change the order here I'm going to show you the user manual so you can pause and you can read it so if you purchase unit like this without any manual here is a chance for you you can always go back into this let me show you that nicely let's take a look at this unit at close up the only consumable part is that spool of transparent tape but it is not a regular tape it have a special cut out holes that are going to perfectly match your 8mm movie. Here you can see a very sharp blade that's going to be cutting your movie and making a splice. This is part that is using to force the transparent tape onto the movie and you are going to do that motion. There is a roller that's going to nicely force the glue onto the film here is a, the same device but 
to do with your hand. If you see any problems, you can rub the tape onto the movie. So it is in this really nice handy spot. If you would like to go from cutting a film into cutting tape, you are going to push this whole assembly into the front and you are going to see a tape information and the film. Just like that. We are going to start from fusing those two movies together. As you can see, we do not have a nice clean cut through the frame. So we are going to first uh, cut both of that movies to get a very nice edge. You do not have to be worried because it have like a 15 frames per second. So by cutting this, you are just removing a tiny portion of movie. If you take a look at the base plate, we've got a tiny studs that are sticking out. They happen to have exactly the same spacing as our movie and they are being to be used for help the movie into place and also those elements have a tiny cut on the bottom and they are going to grab your movie. So the whole idea is that you are going to slide the movie under and then align on those studs. Let me get a better angle how to do it. Is that a correct angle? I believe yes. So as you can see the movie is nicely in place under those and in those holes just like this. It's not going to move around. We've got a perfect framing and we are going to press our blade against the movie just like that. The travel time is a very small so don't be afraid. That's all. We just make our splice and we can remove our perfectly cut portion of movie. And we are going to repeat exactly the same process with another part. We are going to slide it under and nicely align our film like this. As you can see very nicely and we are going to make a cut and it's done just like that. Now we are going to fuse them together. I'm going to align it into exactly the same spot just like this and this is one half and there is a second half and now we are going to grab our movie you have to be careful to choose uh, one end because you don't want to play it in the reverse order but of course the other location is not a problem because the holes are only in the correct position and we are going to align it nicely and yes it is uh, really nicely aligned just like this now we've got spool with our tape I will grab the tweezers and I'm going to grab it like this and if you can see they are holes and they are, thus those holes are going to be matching that stud plastics that are located here I'm going to put a little bit more tape
just like this. Now I'm going to use back of these tweezers to force the movie onto the film, so we've got a nice connection. I'm going to push it forward to the tape and now I'm going to cut it by applying force just like before. Very small travel, we cut the tape and we can pull that back. As you can see, tap tape was cut and on the back we've got tape that was also cut. We are going to discard that. And now we are going to do a little bit of magic because we've got the tape on the front, but we do not have tape on the back. So we are going to flip it like this. And here you can see the tape. Can you see the tape? Yes, you should see. And when we are going to put this element, we are going to roll our tape and put into the film. So we can do like a couple times. Then we can go back and remove our film. And as you can see, we make a perfect connection. This is a perfectly join that movie together. So this is how you do it in the linear vintage way. I hope you find that interesting. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.